Hey Joe fans, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Tonight, we're gonna fire up our Kamado Joe Classic and make some really good stuffed bell peppers. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the Kamado Joe Classic. I've got one Kamado Joe fire starter cube right here in the middle of my pile of charcoal and I'm gonna light that up and we're gonna let that burn or so with the vent, bottom vent fully open and the, we're gonna leave the lid open and let this burn for about 10 minutes or so to get this fire going and we're gonna set up today to cook at about 350 degrees. Now that we have our fire going here, I'm gonna set a couple of uh, small chunks of peach wood in here to get a little bit of smoke going for our stuffed bell peppers. We're gonna set just some small ones right there in the middle. And then I'm gonna set my divide and conquer flexible cooking rack right in the system here. I have my accessory rack in the lower position and I've got my heat deflectors sitting right on the accessory rack rather than in the low position. And I'm gonna set each half of my grill grates right on top here. And I'm gonna close the lid. And to get to about 350 or so, I'm gonna close the bottom vent to where it's open about two inches or so, or about halfway. And on the top vent, I'm just gonna close it all the way for now. And I'm gonna open the daisy wheel. And we're gonna let this guy come up to 350 or so. I may have to open this up open the daisy wheel slider up just a little more to get this guy to 350 so we're just going to watch it and if we need to cool it down we'll close that close off the daisy wheel or if we need to get it heated up we'll open the slider a little bit more but we're going to do all of our temperature control right here at the top while our Kamado Joe classics coming up to temperature we're going to get the stuffing ready for these peppers and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with one pound of lean ground beef. This is your regular grocery store variety, uh, 93.7 ground beef. I have drained one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes and I saved about a quarter of a cup of the juice from that that we're gonna put in there. We're gonna add about one tablespoon of tomato paste and then we have a half a cup of the following. Chopped mushrooms, onion, celery, carrots, and then I've got about three cloves of garlic that I've finely minced with my microplane grater. I've got about three tablespoons of chopped parsley, about a tablespoon of fresh thyme, about a tablespoon of fresh rosemary, about a teaspoon of kosher salt, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and today I'm also going to add some holy cow rub from Meat Church Barbecue that these guys sent me. We're going to add some of that to this and then I'm just going to put in a dash of Sri Racha, the rooster. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and we're just going to mix all that up. I'm going to glove up and we're just going to get in here and work all this together. And once we get all this together, we're just gonna stuff it in our peppers. I've got four bell peppers here of four different colors, and we're just gonna take our meat mixture and stuff it in each one of these. I should have enough here to do more than four, but we like things big and bold here in the man cave. Well, we've got all four of these stuffed, and I've got enough left probably to stuff another small one. So, Ashni, what are we going to do? Let's put that back on the grill. We've got our Kamado Joe Classic cruising right at 350 degrees and a nice little bit of peach smoke coming there. So, we're going to set this dish right here in the middle. And we're gonna let this cook for about an hour or so since none of this meat's already cooked. I'll check the temperature on it and make sure we're good. But we're gonna go for about an hour, but we're gonna come back at about the 45 minute mark uh, to put a finishing touch on these. And I'll show you that when we get there. 
Okay, Joe fans, we've been going about 50 minutes or so. I'm estimating we've got maybe 15, maybe 20 minutes left, but these things are looking real good. I'm gonna open this up and grate on a little bit of uh, Pecorino Romano on top of these peppers and give it just a little bit of cheese on top. And we're gonna let these go a while longer and we'll be back when they're ready to come off the grill. Okay, Joe fans. These bad boys are ready to come off the grill, man. They're looking really good. So I'm gonna take these inside. We're gonna let them cool for just a few minutes and then we're gonna have a taste. Okay, Joe fans, these guys are ready. So we are gonna have a little taste here. I'm gonna dig into this one a little bit, try to get a, a chunk of this uh, stuffed part out of here and we're gonna have a taste. Mmm outstanding this has a beautiful flavor to it I don't know how really how to describe it we've got so much going on in there you saw all the ingredients we put in it the sriracha is in there you can feel it just a little bit you can taste it uh, the holy cow rub from the guys at Meeks Church has brought a really nice flavor to this also you're gonna have to give this one a try this is definitely you can serve this as a side or you can make a main dish out of this. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And uh, leave us a comment on the video. Let us know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.